A six-year-old battling a respiratory disorder now has a one-of-a-kind treasure you can only find in the Pacific Northwest. After traveling to Oregon all the way from West Virginia, his wish came true. Bonnie Silkman is in the studio with more on this young boy's story. It really is a good one. It really is. Uh, James loves collecting sea glass. Here he is. So when he heard about the sparkly glass treasures hidden along an Oregon beach, he made a wish to come here all the way from West Virginia and hunt them down for himself. James had a blast in Lincoln City. Look at him go. He wasted no time, as you can see, searching for a new treasure to add to his growing collection on World Wish Day. Also, there was his twin brother, who's also diagnosed with the same respiratory disorder that James has. And his brother is also qualifying for a wish. He just needs to decide what he wants to wish for. So both of the boys spend long hours in treatment. So their family says seeing smiles on their faces was well worth this trip. If you're not familiar, finding the Finders Keepers floats is a unique tradition on the Oregon coast. More than 3,000 hand-blown glass floats, all made by local artists, are hidden along seven miles of Sandy Beach. If you find a float, it's all yours. So when James heard about this, he knew he had to get here. The Make-A-Wish Oregon made it happen. We heard from his mom who said he, he was so excited for this day, while James says this was a challenging hunt. I walked past it, but I didn't know it was right there. And then I wanted to do it, and then I found it. Awesome! Congratulations! That's so cool! He wakes up every day asking, is today my glass float day? Do I get to find my glass float today? And he tells all his friends, everyone he meets. It was so exciting. I mean, it just anytime you can see your kid doing what they love is amazing, but I think it has an added, um, an added importance when you know that his life isn't always as easy as other kids. He spends hours a day doing treatments, and so to see that joy, it just kind of makes it all worth it. And check it out, you guys. After his time on the beach, James and his family went over to the Lincoln City Glass Center where they got to see how the glass floats are made. James even got to make his very own from scratch. What's more, he got to register his new treasure at the City Hall where he also got to see a ton of new floats. So really incredible to see. You could tell they were having just so much fun yeah. on the beach and he was just ready to go. By the way, Make-A-Wish Oregon has granted the wishes of more than 5,000 children in Oregon and Clark. County, Washington. I love that they took it to another level too and let him make his own, I right? It's not just, just getting that float. Yeah, yeah it's and really what a neat. compliment, really, to our state mm -hmm. that he chose to come yes. here all the yep. way across the country mm -hmm. for his wish right here on the Oregon coast. That's pretty special. The ultimate treasure yeah. hunt. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, Thank you. And we know he's suffering from a respiratory illness, mm -hmm. but man, the kid can run. <laughs> no, kid can run. Watch yeah. out. Yep. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay. Story. Thank um, you,